Hey guys, welcome back to CVO Wellness. Today's video is all about masturbation. So this is a highly requested video. I actually get a lot of DMs and a lot of the women who I talk to in my life will bring up someone they know or themselves personally saying that they've never masturbated and they don't really know where to start. So today's video is all about masturbation. So first, just starting off with the benefits of why we should be masturbating and why it's a healthy thing that has no shame around it and it should not hold any shame for you. So talking about why it's good for us to alleviate any shame or guilt that you might have picked up from mixed messages growing up. There's a lot of kind of negative messages around sex and masturbation when we grow up, especially if you're a part of specific institutions or you had certain teachings when you were growing up. So this is a positive space. I want to talk about masturbation in a positive light and then also just share some of the benefits so you can start to think about it as a way of stress release and also self-care. And then secondly, we'll get into how to start masturbating if you've never done it before because I can understand that that might be a little bit overwhelming and you might not know where to start. So I'm going to be sharing some tips and advice for that as well. So we'll get started. I did make some notes here. So I quickly just want to run through some of the benefits of masturbation. So for starters, it helps with reducing stress which basically is going to help you sleep better. It's, it's going to help you relax through your mind and body. And it's also going to help you just be a better person in your relationships. Oftentimes when we get super stressed out, we can be tense. We can, you know, have trouble sleeping. We can have trouble staying alert, paying attention. So um, finding a way to actually release any stress and relax our body is a really great way to just improve our overall health. Also too, when you do masturbate, it increases the endorphins in your body, which is basically that physical and mental well-being emotion. So it actually is going to make you feel better physically and mentally. And then lastly, it just helps with understanding and learning our bodies more. So when we practice masturbation, we're actually, you know, becoming more self-confident. We're understanding what we like, what we dislike, how we experience pleasure. And by knowing how to experience pleasure yourself alone, it's going to make it easier for you to communicate that to a partner so you can experience pleasure with your partner. Um, if you don't know your body, you don't feel comfortable in your body, it's going to be harder to explain to someone else what you need to experience pleasure. So starting with yourself first and doing that kind of solo exploration is super, super important for creating positive sexual experiences with other people. So those are some of the quick benefits of masturbation. I honestly use it as a self-care routine. I like to masturbate before bed or in the morning just to kind of like release any stresses, get my body relaxed, get my mind in like a good healthy place. Um, and I recommend doing it multiple times a week, if not once a day. I think that if you have time for it and it's something that makes you feel good, um, it's a really good way to connect with yourself and with your body and to have that alone time. So though, if you've never masturbated before, I can understand that'd be pretty overwhelming to know where to start. So I just want to talk about some ways that we can get into masturbation um, and some ways for you to start so you feel more comfortable and then you can explore with toys and stuff like that in the future. So fun fact, um, a story for me, when I was growing up, I actually started masturbating very, very young, but I had no idea what I was doing with masturbating. I was simply just externally stimulating my clit, which in turn led to an orgasm. I really liked the feeling of that, but I didn't know how to label that as masturbation and orgasm. I just thought I had some really cool superpower that I unlocked that my body could do that felt amazing. Um, and so I had no idea that I was masturbating. So you might be watching this video and be like, holy shit, I've been masturbating my whole life. I just never realized it. Um, so if that's the case, welcome. I had that same experience. You've never actually touched yourself before and never experienced what an orgasm is like. I would personally recommend starting with manual masturbation. And when I say manual masturbation, I just mean using your hand, just exploring how it feels to touch yourself on your vulva and in your vagina. So um, you can use a mirror, you can kind of stare at it down there, or you can just simply play around and just don't try to find an orgasm. Instead, try to just feel out pleasure. So if something feels good, continue on in that kind of area or that sensation or that type of pressure or touch. And if something doesn't feel good, that's not a problem. Just kind of move on to something else. Becoming super comfortable with our bodies and how they work and look and feel is going to get you closer to orgasm and help you feel a lot of pleasure. So a lot of it is really just self-exploration. Externally stimulating your clit is a really good way, place to start and what I would recommend as most women need clit stimulation to have an orgasm. I wouldn't start with toys right away, just if you're starting out new, you kind of want to maybe 
feel super comfortable with your hands, but you can always kind of grab toys later on and use that as an aid. Um, I know a lot of women will use kind of like pool jets or like a bathtub jet or a shower head. Um, those are all great places to start. And yeah, just kind of see how it feels, um, explore that, and then see how your body reacts. Everybody's different, everyone's vulva is different, everyone's vagina is different. What works for me um, may not work for you or it may. So it's really just about becoming super comfortable knowing that what you're doing is an act of self-care. It's going to help you reduce stress, it's going to let you feel more connected to your body and more connected in your partnerships and it's good for you. So don't have any guilt or shame around it. If you have any questions, always feel free to DM me. I'm always open to talking to women about expanding their pleasure and helping them feel comfortable in their skin. Um, I feel like we don't talk about this stuff enough and a lot of people get uncomfortable or they don't know where to start and then there's so much confusion in the world. <laughs> so I'm here as an open ear um, to talk to you guys and I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps this channel and give us a follow on our Instagram at CBL Wellness. Um, we post weekly videos and tips about sex, communication, fantasies, etc. all on there. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll see you for another video shortly.